The next important assembly operation is for various polodial field coils. Temporarily positioned PF6L and PF7L coils are assembled using a special fixture. and then PF7U and PF6U are assembled. Once PF6 and PF7 coils have been assembled, the PF5L coil is lifted from the lower portion of the machine by a crane for assembly. Various fixtures for assembly of those coil structures are not shown in this animation. While these PF coils are assembled, eight CS coils are sub-assembled in the assembly hall. The assembly of these CS coils is completed at the same time the assembly of the preceding CS coils is completed. The stack is immediately lifted by a crane and the assembly is completed in a short period. The next process is the assembly of the upper PF5 coil. With the assembly of this coil, assembly of all superconducting magnets for K-Star equipment are now completed. After all superconducting magnets are assembled, in cryostat components are now installed. Among those components, only the superconducting bus line is shown in this animation. While the bus line is being installed, the cryostat cylinder delivered to the site in four pieces is sub-assembled in the assembly hall. Once the sub-assembly is completed, the cylinder thermal shield is also installed. Thus, the sub-assembled cryostat cylinder and the thermal shield are lifted by a crane for final assembly. Once the cryostat cylinder assembly is completed, it means that various medium and slanted boards are ready to be assembled. These ports are passed through the cylinder port opening by special fixtures for assembly, inserted to fit into the port stub attached to the vacuum vessel, and finally welded to the inside of the vacuum vessel or the port. After the port assembly is completed, the cryostat lid is delivered to the site in three pieces and sub-assembled in the assembly hall. After sub-assembly is completed, the lid thermal shield is also installed. Thus, the sub-assembled cryostat lid and thermal shield are lifted by a crane for final assembly.
As the last step of port assembly, the top vertical port is assembled, and all ports are blanked in blind flanges. As the last assembly step for the generation of the first plasma, the pumping duct for the vacuum vessel is assembled and joined to the cryostat. The pumping duct systems are assembled with all pumps, gauges, and valves attached. This animation has briefly presented the assembly and integration of the whole system for the generation of the first plasma. After the generation of the first plasma, the cold mass will be warmed up again, the vacuum will be removed, and then the K-Star machine will be upgraded in several steps. Those to be upgraded include in-vessel components, such as plasma facing components and control coils, auxiliary heating system, such as neutral beam injection, ICRF, lower hybrid heating, and electron silotron heating, various high temperature diagnostic systems, and the power supply system for driving them. We have introduced the way the K-Star machine is assembled and integrated with simple animation. We will do our best to achieve this goal and never stop. And we also believe dreams come true. Thank you very much.